Hello and welcome to Play With Me, Toys for Kids. In a previous episode, I showed you guys this kaleidoscope kit from Cosmos, and we've also done three experiments with it. If you haven't seen these videos, go ahead and go check out the channel. They're pretty cool. Today we're going to be doing experiment number four, and we will be making the outside of our kaleidoscope, as well as looking at symmetry and forms. So first off, we have our half-finished kaleidoscope, and we will be needing this for the experiment. And we are also going to need some other things. So our half-finished kaleidoscope, colored rocks, our plastic case, and then also some clear tape. First off, we're just going to go ahead and insert the plastic case into the top here. Go ahead and push firmly. Next, insert the colored rocks. And then finally, put on the top. I'm also going to add one piece of tape here so that it stays closed and that I can open it and close it. Next up, we're going to decorate the outside. For this, we need some glue, scissors, the colored paper, paper that comes with the kit, although you can also use your own paper and stickers. I think I'm going to make mine blue today. So go ahead and cut along the edge here, and this is enough to cover the kaleidoscope. Next, I'm just gonna put, put, put glue all over this, and then I will roll it around the kaleidoscope. Like I said, you can do this with any color you like. Just make sure there's enough paper to completely cover the kaleidoscope. If you're doing this project at home without the kit, then you can use a tube and any colored paper you have, such as wrapping paper. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it with some pretty shapes here. So I'm just gonna cut out a few things that I like and attach all of that. I think I've decided to cut out a few stars and other pretty shapes. So here I have everything cut out, and I'm just going to go ahead and decorate as I wish. So here my kaleidoscope is all decorated. I added some bands here as well as some stars and polka dots. In the comments, if you're doing this project, I'd like you guys to write how you decorated your kaleidoscope. So let's go ahead and look inside here. It looks really, really cool. And I love the colored rocks. However, we do still have a few experiments to do before our kaleidoscope is completely finished. So today we're going to be collecting small things from around the house as well as outside and using them to put inside the kaleidoscope and see how it looks. This is called symmetry and forms because the reflections of the images will create symmetry because of the mirrors and the different forms will be from different things you can find around the house and outside. So here I found a few things around the house. I have a flower, another flower, this is a piece of jewelry from a doll, some foam clay, a necklace from Barbie, a small piece of metal, and also a bead with the letter K. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my colored rocks and put in some of these things. And we're going to see how it looks. So here we have the household objects. And really you can put in anything that you can find that will fit in the end. For example, you could use leaves or flowers, really anything that will fit. 
I think this looks amazing, it really looks like a flower. As you can see, it's not very full, so not very much is being reflected. I think in a little bit, I'll add some colored rocks to make it a little bit more full. You can also shake up the kaleidoscope if you would like to mix things up even a little bit more. It's a fun guessing game to guess which object is being reflected as well. I personally can't tell, but when you make this on your own, you can try to guess which object is being reflected. There's the K, the bead. That one's pretty easy to see. So since it's not very full, I think I'm going to add some more colors. For example, green, I think, maybe blue, oop. Transparent, I guess. And we'll see how this looks when it's a little bit more full. So I think it's pretty cool to mix things up and it's really really fun to see how the images reflect. So in total there are seven experiments with this Cosmos kit and if you check out the next videos we will continue doing the experiments together. I hope you're following along with these projects, I think they're really a lot of fun and you can really learn a lot from them as well. And in the end we will have a kaleidoscope that we made ourselves. Pretty cool, right? So I really hope you guys have been enjoying these projects, and I also hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below, and go check out our, other, our channel for other videos, and of course be sure to subscribe so you get the newest updates. In the comments, I want you guys to write if you've ever made a kaleidoscope on your own, and if you're following the project, go ahead and write how you decorated your kaleidoscope. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!